Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to start working on module 2, Governance and Compliance. Um, so let's just get started. So in this lab, for the AG104, we really have three different requirements. We're going to implement a management group, and we're going to create a custom role-based access control roles, and then assign the roles. Now this lab is going to be important in terms of governance in uh, when you move to the cloud okay in the previous lab what we have done we have created managed identity and we have assigned roles for the active directory level we have not really assigned any permissions to the resources that you can deploy within an, a subscription so in this one first we will look at the management group how that works and how to use a custom role maybe the default roles are not good enough you want to be more granular how to do that and then how to assign those roles so let's just get started so our task one we're going to sign into the azure portal and on the right hand window i'm already signed in to the azure environment okay and then search and select for management group so management groups is really a way to uh, categorize and all of your subscription into different units very use, useful for the government governance so when i click search for it this is what it came up with and review the message at the top of the management group so this is what we are going to review use management groups to group subscriptions click on an existing group to drill in view details and govern resources right click on any subscription or management group to launch a quick actions click the get started tab to learn more so right now we have not configured any uh, management group so you can click on uh, for more info you can go there and it says no management group to display because we have not created any here you have to start using the management group so review the message so we have just done that if you are seeing the message you are registered as a directory admin but do not have the necessary permission to access the root of this group or from the following sequence step we don't have this uh, error or, or the warning so we can really do whatever thing uh, so we can skip this part but if you do see you just need to go back to the active directory and then go to the manage and properties and uh, then on the properties blade, you gotta go to access management for Azure resources says yes. So all you need to do, if you see that message, you will go back to your active directory. And here under the manage section, this is the manage section, you go down to the properties at the bottom. And over here, what you will do uh, here, you just say access management for Azure resources, just make that yes okay and then you would just save this one and at this time you can go back uh, to your management group so click on that one so that will bring you back to the management group so here uh, let's get started in this one uh, let's just start using the management group so if you click on that button uh, so you might be experiencing some delayed few minutes while the management group is setting up for the directory so uh, just just give it a second and over here on the management group uh, click plus create note if you have not previously created management group select start using management group and that's what we have done so here it may take just a minute so let's see and i'm going to click over here one more time and see now we have uh, this coming up so for here uh, we can provide the management group id as this and the management group name we're gonna call this as per the lab and hit submit so that should uh, start the creation of the management group process and that is going on right now at the moment okay so we are pretty much done up to this phase and then in the list of management groups click the entry represent the newly created management group so let it get created and you can also click on this uh, bill icon to see come notification what is going on with your azure environment so let us just go through and uh, it shouldn't take too long it's just a management group and now you see that it's got created so i'm going to close that one so what happened over here 
here's the tenant root group here is I have my subscription and then I have created this new management group now this management group does not have anything it has no subscription at all at the moment okay so now uh, here if you right click on it okay in this the three dot icons okay so what you see that you have uh, add subscription here so uh, or you can other way to do let's see in that blade click on subscription so let's just click on that one so that will take you to this management group and you're inside the management management group now and here let's see if we can add a subscription from there on AZ management plate click subscription so here is your subscription so click on subscription and now you can add subscription from here so you can click the add subscription okay so we are here in the subscription drop down list select the subscription you're using so here this is I have only one subscription and then I can hit save okay and uh, that should do it that should move the subscription inside this particular management group okay so on the subscription plate copy your id of the subscription to clipper you will need this in the next task okay that's good so go now if i go back to the management group and do a refresh okay what you will see that if i go in here uh, it's still uh, taking some time so it will take some time a little bit of time for the subscription to show up under this management group and while this is happening i can also show you another way to move your subscription in here that is uh, how we started at the beginning click on these three dots and uh, click on add subscription here and you can also get this subscription and it will give you warning moving a sub management group or subscription to be under a different management group could change the access and policies that are applied that is very important and we'll come back and discuss the policy and governance and how that works in a different lecture but uh, that's uh, that's about it so if i go in there come back to management group keep on refreshing some so what i'm expecting to see this okay now it's showing is outside of this management group once the old update is actually properly done it will go inside this particular management group and again you might experience some delay uh, for a few minutes while management group is setting up for the directory so this message is always there so just give it a minute and what i'll do i'll pause the video for a second uh, once this is actually moved and it's showing up that this is not anymore outside this management group and inside the management group we'll start doing the next lab or next next section and start doing the custom roles uh, thank you Or everyone it's been like two minutes it's still not moved it would so it would take some time while this is going on let me show you some other things like in a real life when you are designing this management group you may want to create a management group uh, say prod and you're gonna call that prod MG so here maybe your production subscription you're gonna put in there and that will show up as a management group right here and then say you're gonna create another one non prod and uh, you have another management group that will show up as a non prod over here now when you're creating subscription place your prod subscriptions under the prod group your non prod subscription under the non prod group so what you're doing you're using your uh, management group as a security boundary okay so now I think everything looks good so one thing that you noticed here the subscription that is that was outside now this is placed inside this particular management group and that was the goal of this lab and these two I'm showing you as a extra so in a real life you will be creating maybe even more you know UAT dev whatever environment you have integration environment so you'll be creating those management group and what it gives you now you can apply different type of governance policies for different type of management group so this is very very important so but for the lab I think now this is showing up that it's inside our management group that we have created so let's end this video here let's come back in the next video and uh, we'll work on the task too thank you